He was a human being. We put our heroes on pedestals and expect them to be everything that we want them to be. Put them up on TVs, movie screens, and make them abide by our rules. Make them relatable and predictable. Safe. Or outlandish. Just enough to separate them from reality. But in the real world, once our heroes stop living by our rules, we find a way to remind them that we created them. That God was made by our hands. Can you give me a glimpse of what it was like growing up beside someone who was considered by many to be a real-life superhero? Superhero? He was my brother. I grew up with him, played with him in the backyard. We went to school together. I always knew that he was different, but I don't just mean with the powers or whatever. He had something about him, you know? Gentle, humble, but strong at the same time. Give me an example. I never thought much about it at the time because he wouldn't make it a big deal. He never did anything to show off. He just. just did it. Going into work, babe. Anything I can do? Let this go. Uh, can you get some milk? We're all out. What if James? I remember one time, we were playing around, I, I don't remember where, but I was climbing this tree that was just gigantic to me as a kid, and I remember falling and being in a lot of pain, and I couldn't move my arm, and he was there, and he picked me up off the ground, and I remember the pain just melted away. How often did this kind of thing happen? There was little things that I know I took for granted at the time. I realize now they were 
miracles? You could say that. It's unlocked. Hey, James. What are you doing here? It's in the neighborhood. Thought I'd drop in. Want one? Suit yourself. Work's going well. I think they're about to give me a promotion. Look, I, I know you idolized him as a kid, but well, frankly, he was a nut job. It wasn't right in the head. You need to just get over it. It's it's done. He's gone. I never had any respect for him. Respect? I had respect for mom and dad, who on a daily basis had to deal with a big-headed kid with a messiah complex. You never understood. He quit his job three years ago to, to do what? Hang out at gay bars and strip clubs? What is there to understand? It wasn't like that. Well, then what was it like? Enlighten me, James. He was making a difference. Making a difference? While we live our normal lives, dealing with the fact that our brother was a homeless nut? Stop trying to defend him, James. They beat him to death and hung him up in the middle of the city. And for what? Do we even know why, Joe? He was our brother, Joe. Our brother. Does that mean nothing to you? He was my hero growing up. He was family. Does that not matter to you at all? I'm sorry, James. I'm just trying to help you out. I'm not saying he deserved to die or anything like that. I'm just saying it's done. We need to move on. Some of his following are saying he is still alive, spreading it across social media that they have seen him in person resurrected. Did you have any personal connection to his fan club? And what do you think of these claims? I knew a few of his friends, yeah. And they weren't perfect people by any means, but he helped them. And they listened to him because he, I think he made them better people. But some would say they are a cult following and superhero wannabes. In your opinion, would they be the kind of people to make this sort of thing up? I think the truth about a person is evidenced by the impact of their day-to-day -day life. We saw him. Who? Your brother. He's alive. It's incredible. It's true. I saw him with my own eyes. That's impossible. It's impossible? We saw the kinds of things he could do. Yeah, believe us. We saw him. He's alive. <laughs> what? You don't believe us? I don't know what to believe in, James. We were just devastated when he was gone, but believe me, I saw him. The people have said a lot of things against him. That he was a terrorist, and not only was he a threat with what he was capable of doing, but if he had the power, why didn't he use it to save more lives? 
In your eyes, does he deserve ridicule? Nor was he some sort of god in human form? Was he superhero or terrorist? I think in the real world, there are no superheroes. We make sure of that. He disrupted our lives in a way that we couldn't ignore. But he wasn't the god we were looking for. So we eliminated him from the equation. What are we doing, babe? I'm tired of this. Do you even know what's going on with me? With us? You mope around the house all day, and I, I, I try to be sensitive. What about me, James? I can't even walk anywhere downtown now without a mention of him. And today, I got stopped again because someone recognized me as a relative. I know. You know? You know you barely leave the house, Jim. I'm tired of this. We didn't do anything, but somehow, because we knew him, we're guilty? I am sick of him being this huge elephant in the room. He was just a man. He was my brother, He Anna. was a brother that did and what said did he a do? lot of offensive What was his things. crime? People said he was a terrorist. I was there. I watched it happen. Stop these questions running through my mind. I can't stop thinking about him. He's everywhere I go, everywhere I look. I can't escape him. It's like he's watching me. What if? What if what? What if he's still alive? You're joking. Just hear me out. I know it sounds crazy, but sometimes I believe him. been my hero, James.
you have any superpowers of your own? I'm just a human being. Mm -hmm.